Now's the time. We got a cup of good tea. Got my dog. Now it's time for a smoke. One of the things that my family down on the reservation, both the Shoshones and the Arapahoes, told me <clears throat> tobacco is very sacred. And so whenever you smoke, you always want to make an offering with your tobacco. So they take just a little bit of tobacco from whatever they're smoking, and they put a little hole in the ground, and they make an offering with that tobacco. And you should do that every time that you smoke. So that... that it shows how much you appreciate life and nature and those things things around you but it shows a lot of respect they always say it shows respect to your relatives so I do that because they say that's what you're supposed to do The people that I would miss the most would be Molly for sure, because she's my constant companion. And my wife, I definitely would miss her. We've only been married a couple years, and we only see each other on the weekend, so I would miss her a lot, not being able to see her. It's hard enough now we only see each other on the weekend. And of course my sons, I have two great, great sons who share a love of the outdoors that I do. So it would be tough to, to be gone from them for such a long time also. And my scouts. I miss my scouts. I meet, I meet with them every week and my scouts mean a lot to me. The same way that my scout master meant a lot to me also. My scoutmaster was 97 years old and I drove clear back to Nebraska 800 miles one way to go to his funeral here a couple weeks ago because he deserved that respect. He's the guy that mentored me in the outdoors. When I was 10 years old my father died and so I didn't have anybody, many male figures around to, to teach me right from wrong and basically kick your butt you know, when you need it. And He was a man that did it. And his recent passing was a big deal to me. He lived a long time and a good life, and I had to pay my respects. He was the reason why I got to become an Eagle Scout. And I vowed to myself that I would always give back to scouting, which I have. So it's important to me that I mentor kids, particularly scouts in the outdoors and in the old skills. One of the things that, that I'm most proud of is the fact that when my Eagle Scouts come back, particularly my Eagle Scouts, and they come see me in town, and we always give a big hug each other, a big man hug. And they, and they tell me that I made a huge difference in their life, that they're the man they are today because of me. And that's huge. That's really, that's really a big part of my life. And I guess if I was going to have an epitaph on my gravestone, it would be, he left a legacy. And I hope that I've left a lot of ripples in life of kids that move on. So I think, I think that's a great accomplishment for me. And, and doing this adventure, it would be great to show my scouts that, number one, I could do it. I could be by myself. I can be good at what I do. Um, I can do it old style. I can do it like the early 1900s, just like, you know, my grandparents did and, and my grandparents' parents. So I think that's important, too. But you don't need all this modern stuff. That you can, you can go out there and survive with... Simple gear, wool clothing, that's important.